<clears throat> Do we finish talking to him? Oh, yeah, we did. Yeah, I think we just got to look around the room. Okay. It's been a while since we've, like, looked at a room before. We've had to investigate, yeah. <laughs> this rope. You think it fell out of the safe when it was opened? Maya, did you listen to a single fucking thing Gumshoe said? I'm going to stop you right there, Nick. No, I <laughs> never do. You know the answer to that, Nick. That's that's why you think he's such an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> you just see his big, big, big man and go, oh, he's a jerk. I don't think big so. Big man, big jerk. So, you mean? Yeah. I think this string shows where and how the corpse is lying. Y you mean... Victim, he, he was killed by being crushed by the safe door? She, she can't be serious, can she? Oh, she can. <laughs> Try her. And she will. Yeah, she can and she will. Look at the safe. Ew, think about it. A dead guy was laying in here all night. Yeah. Oh, and by the way, don't bother asking about fingerprints. There were none. Well... And so, I don't. And I don't think so. <laughs> well, somebody opened this safe on the night of the crime, right? Yeah. And so. Well, if Mr. Bullard's body was hidden in here, it must mean that this was opened by either the killer or the victim, right? Uh, yeah, I guess so. Oh, I got some bad news for you, pal. Are you ready? Uh, okay. Shoot. Opening this baby is no piece of cake. Uh, okay, I mean, I figured. There are only a few people who know how to open this safe, pal. Y yeah, and? Everyone that knows how to open this safe had airtight alibis. I checked. They're all dead. Everyone <laughs> except one, that is. I'm almost afraid to ask. <laughs> They're all dead. <laughs> The, the tightest well. alibi. <laughs> Former security chief, Ron Delight. Damn. What? Ron Delight? He was a security chief? Yeah, that's also really surprising. Ron. I mean, did you, did you see him take out those gangsters? Yeah, he just yelled at them. <laughs> that's true. <laughs> it's how you take care of a bear. <laughs> Go away! <laughs> Ron. So he knew how to open the safe, huh? Yeah. Sorry for raining on your parade there, pal. <laughs> I guess we'll look at the desk. This must be the CEO's desk. It's a lot simpler than I would have thought. Hey, that looks like a super soft chair. Let me try it out, just for a second. Oh, nice. I feel just like a CEO. <clears throat> uh... Hey, you! Pick me up a cup of some really expensive import tea and some scones. Move it! Ah, this is the life. Maya, is that what you think CEOs do? I mean, you're not I wrong. Mean, is that, yeah, is that not what they do? That is what CEOs do. <laughs> they don't do uh, work. <laughs> Uh, the victim sat in that chair just before he was brutally killed, you know. Oh my god! Ah! <laughs> awesome. That was really good. Got her. Check out this big, thick binder here. Nice. Leave the heavy lifting to me, Nick. What? Reading a file isn't exactly backbreaking work. It's just a little hard on the eyes. Just like you, Maya. Oh! <laughs> What did you find out, Nick? This file. It's not about any sort of security operations or anything. This huge file is all about Mask to Mask. It's filled with info on him. What? What kind of info? It's filled with incredibly detailed information about his methods and the crime scenes. Hey, Nick. Look at the last page. It's a list. Let's see. Tier of Eminon, $100,000. This looks like a list of all the treasures that Master Mask stole. So then $100,000 is the value of the stolen item? 
I don't know. That number sounds kind of low to me. I think I'd better secretly make a copy of this list. I don't... Okay, sure. Secretly they didn't now. need to have that line, but okay, sure. Let's look at these other folders. Some kind of bookshelf slash rolling cabinet hybrid. I can't get in between these two shelves. Don't strain yourself trying. It looks like the shelves are controlled by a special panel. So I guess it's one shelf at a time, huh? It looks like they're filled with bunches of files. Yeah, files filled with data about security jobs they were hired to handle. It'd be a good night's reading. If you've got insomnia. Got him. Got him. I, I was hoping for something a little bit more exciting. Like UFOs or something. Yeah, they're guarding UFOs. Uh, let's look at this. Oh, there's a button here. Let's see. The self-destruct sequence has been activated. Hey, cut it out! Don't press that! <laughs> that was pretty funny. I never knew Detective Gumshoe could jump like that. Oh my god, stop the sound effect. What is this button anyway? It's Thank an you. emergency buzzer. It says it right there on the panel. Oops, you're right. <laughs> it's written right there. Nick, how many times have I told you to read the instructions first? I hate you. This alarm's connected to the basement guard room. It's used to summon security up here. All of a sudden, just like oh, I'd say, we have. SWAT teams like, Get down through. on the ground! <laughs> <laughs> really? Then it's possible on the night of the crime. Oh, so when the CEO was attacked, do you think that maybe he pressed the buzzer? Yeah, I thought about that, so I asked around down there, and they all just turned their backs on me, too. <laughs> <laughs> but they said that the buzzer never went off that night. Also, we couldn't find any fingerprints on the buzzer. Mr. Bullard, the victim, wasn't wearing any gloves, by the way, just so you know. Hmm. I think we'd better go and talk to that guard about this emergency buzzer. Uh... But, uh, he could have been wearing gloves at the time of the murder. You can't prove that he wasn't wearing gloves. That's true. Uh, just for shits and giggles. Shut it's up, Ace picture. Attorney. Wow, look at that. Look at that huge framed photo. Tall mountains rising against, rising majestically against a dark and cloudy sky. There's a title written at the bottom of the photo. The greatest sunrise of my life. This is it? This was his best sunrise? Either this guy didn't get out enough. Or he had really rotten luck with the weather. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe if he had okay, lived a little longer. <laughs> Whoa, what the? F Maybe if he had lived a little longer, he would have seen some better days. <laughs> Jeez, Jesus Maya. Christ. If he had fucking died. Oh, man, next, died, next time, Maya. try. Next time, try living a little longer, <laughs> asshole. Next time, don't die. <laughs> fucking loser. <laughs> Not that complicated. God. Oh my god. Anyways, let's go to the security room. Uh, Pritch, what are your first reactions to the security room? All right, what do we got here? Well, it's way too high tech. <laughs> I was gonna well, say, like, where's fucking Homer Simpson? There's way too many Simpson. things that definitely don't do anything. Uh huh. Um, we got what looks like could be Larry's uh, orange jacket. It's good. It's good. Uh... uh, looks like we got a lunch. Got some. Uh, could, that could be some chocolate milk there on the other side. Oh, Jason oh, works milk. here. Yeah, Jason works yeah. here. <laughs> Getting that criminal justice uh, degree to work. Um, uh, I don't know if I'm supposed to be noticing. I mean, it looks like someone just no, like no, takes no, something no, over no. some monitors, which seems pretty unhelpful. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's 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 see who we meet here. Wow, this is really something else. Uh, hey, Marge. Uh, I want to go home, Marge. Our security guard office. It sure doesn't feel very secure. 
KB, <laughs> security, KB security guard. Uh-oh. I just remembered. Larry might be... Hey, Nick! What's up? Again, I love that Phoenix, like, from the first game, was like, Larry is my best and oldest friend. In this case, is just like... <sighs> He's an, oh He's an associate. He's an associate of see, mine. Here's what happens. Over the course of these games, Phoenix has met other human beings. <laughs> and he now realizes that if you had to rank all human beings, Larry Maybe is very bottom. low. He, yeah. he might, might be above Dahlia Hawthorne, who literally tried to kill him. <laughs> may, but that's a maybe. Yeah. <laughs> the jury maybe. is still out on that. Mm -hmm. You have to wait for the... You have to wait for... Save Data Team's top 100 list of shittiest people. Ugh, so he is here. Yo, how's it hanging, dude? And you got my sweet little Maya with you, too. Do not. Do not. Nope. Nope. Hi, Larry. Here I was, working my fingers to the bone. And in, and in walks an angel. I've got no problems with a daytime date. It's all good. What the fuck, dude? No. Like I said, Phoenix has now realized that Larry is a terrible human being, and he that's... can do so, so much better. That's yeah. not what we're here for. We're investigating the Bullard murder case. Huh? Oh, yeah, that's right. You're a lawyer, aren't you? <laughs> I thought you were like, oh, yeah, that's right. My boss got killed that's last guy. night. My boss is dead. <laughs> oh, yeah. I totally murdered that guy. Aw, oh, dang. Got me again, Phoenix. He's so hopeless. He's so hopelessly clueless. Well, if it's about the murder case, boy, have I got some good info for you. Really? What is it? Hmm. Well, I don't mind sharing with my sweet little Maya. God, shut the fuck up. <laughs> but Nick here is a different story. You just said you had good news for me. Larry, I thought you two were old school buddies. Yeah, but have you heard him talking shit about me? I don't think I want to tell you anything now. To be fair, Larry, you are pretty shitty. <laughs> to be fair, Larry, you suck. Okay, point, but also, <laughs> fuck you. <laughs> that was then and this is now. Wait, so are we actually not friends anymore? <laughs> I hope so. Cut toxic people out of your life. This is true, folks. Please do that. So, what's this good info you were talking about, Larry? Hey, I'm a guard. A pro. I can't just give away information for free. He wants a bribe? I thought professionals were more, I don't know, well, honest? That was your first mistake, Phoenix, is thinking he's a professional. <sighs> Maya, I'm really sorry to do this to you. Can you please talk to him? Larry, tell us already. What's the good info? Hey, I like that. This kitten has some claws. Ew, I hate you. God, this sucks. Okay, you really want to know? Yes, yes. So tell me. Okay. So the thing is, Ron Delight was an employee here. You, Naturally, Larry. since I'm a pro, I looked into his background. Follow me. Yes, you're a pro. I follow you. Go on. Well, one year ago, Ron Delight was fired. And there was no warning at all. It just happened all of a sudden. I know this is a small company, but I think that was pretty awful. Is this a this small is a company? small company? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like it's a pretty big company. Your the way CEO has a fucking giant ass office with automatic fucking shelves, and the security fucking room looks like it's out of a fucking oh. sci-fi novel. Oh, I see the confusion. No, see, this is just security room wallpaper. Here, it just comes right off. <laughs> okay, that'd be hilarious. I guess he must have done something bad to have gotten fired like that. Like, maybe skipping out of work to go pick up hot chicks or something? Larry, I fucking hate now That's you, so Larry. No, that's just you. Got him. Got him. So, what is it like to be a part-time security guard? Let me tell you, it's tough. Well, you know me. I get by all right, I guess. 
first, I have to keep my eye on those monitors all the time. Monitors? Do you have to look around them? Maya, you're not hey. Pearl. There are security cameras set in each room around the building. It's really hard. Sometimes I feel like I, my eyes are going to fall out. I wish they would. Damn. Oh. And if I see something suspicious, I have to contact one of the teams. What teams? Save data teams. Security teams. Oh! The security teams for this company. They're supposedly the best in the business. Aren't you, Titan? But I'm... Security team? <laughs> but I'm no amateur either, so if it's something small, I don't bother calling them. So, in other words, you basically watch TV screens all day long. To be fair, Phoenix talking shit on that part of the job, like, that is an actual job, like, let's be clear. But, yeah, I mean, fuck Larry. <clears throat> you were in the office when the murder took place, weren't you? Why do you say that? This is just a part-time job for me, and I can't operate the equipment. <laughs> and I'm dumb. What? Even if it is a part-time, even if it is part-time and you are dumb, you're still in charge of security here. Hey, give me a break! Don't try to pin the whole thing on me. Yeah, wait, was there is there a camera in the CEO's office? Like, <laughs> that's not fair, Nick. Huh? I don't think you can expect someone like him to take any responsibility. <laughs> anyway, the point is, you were here that night, right? Oh. 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 oh no. I knew something smelled bad, and it was the butts after all. Well, it's like I always say, that was then and this is now, okay? That's nothing! Looks like I'm going to have to break his cyclock after all. Looks like I'm going to have to break his legs after all. <laughs> uh, I, I hold his arms behind his back. I'm going to go find something to, I'm going to find something hard to just whack his kneecaps in with. <laughs> Uh, let's do a quick examination of the room first. Look at all the stuff. Oh. That's my partner's seat. Your partner? Well, that's what I call her. She's my superior, actually. Kind of a weird old lady. Oh, no. Please, no. Um, there's tea spilled all over that machine, you know. Oh, don't worry about it. Just the other day, I spilled some chocolate milk on mine. What? How it is, is chocolate milk? Hey, it was chocolate milk. This is Jason is... confirmed. Wow. Oh no. Wait, are you gonna? Ouch. Uh, this is this is the time. Jason, what did Jason call you the other day? It said you were this one character in another game. No, I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna do it back to him. No, wow. I'm not going to fucking call anyone as trash wow. as Larry Fridge, Buck. Fridge, a better, Fridge taking a the higher better man than all of us. I'll fucking call anyone Larry Bot. Oh, that's good. That's good. Bridge has the high ground, everybody. That's true. <sighs> it still works fine, more or less. They really don't know how to build them, I guess. But they really know how to build Sorry. them. Sorry. Oh, okay. I thought you were saying they don't know how to. I was like, they don't know how to build them to withstand chocolate milk spilling into the computers? Yeah, man. I get better equipment. Those. Those screens there show what's going on all over the building. Everywhere. And it's my job to keep a steady eye on them. All of them. I wouldn't sound so smug if I were you. Can you watch regular TV on these two? If anyone would sit here and watch TV instead of working, it's Larry. Hey, Maya. I'm a pro, okay? Besides, you can't get regular TV on it. And how do you know that, Larry? Because that was my first bit of investigation, if you know what I mean. I know what you're thinking! It was a professional investigation, alright? That doesn't make sense. No. Hey, Larry, that's your jacket, isn't it? That's right! Hey, listen, I, I, I'm i one to own clothes for a long period of time. It is wild that, like, Phoenix is like, Hey, that's the same jacket you've had for many years of your life. That you just hung up before. Okay. It's it's a nice blazer. It I is actually. Like it's jacket. probably the best part of 
Larry. Yeah, it's not yeah. a bad jacket. <laughs> um, did you know you hung it right on top of some kind of lever? Yeah, sure. I was told to never, ever touch that lever. She scowled and huffed at me. Something terrible will happen if you do. Got it, Greenhorn? So why hang your jacket on such an important lever? Because <laughs> it got me curious. I'm not touching it. My jacket is. <laughs> if the jacket's weight pulls the lever down, that's what they call an accident. Doesn't the suspense just kill you? Don't you want to know what'll happen, huh? It's true. It's killing me too. What about you, Nick? Maya, I swear to God. Yeah, but for a different reason. <laughs> Something is written on this poster in fine print. Guards Five Commandments. Ow, oh, this sounds serious. Let's see what it says. Number one, obey thy superior. Number two, respect thy superior. Number three, smile at thy superior. That one seems unnecessary. Yeah. Number four, salute thy superior. <laughs> Number five, buy donuts for thy superior upon command. It's signed, Wendy Oldbag hey! Head Supervisor. Confirmed! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> I do, like, the idea of them interacting is just so wild to me. Yeah. I feel like she would have to hate him. Oh, oh yeah. yeah, she, she would hate. she hasn't killed him already. Yeah. She's one tough old bird, let me tell you. Cross her and you come face to face with her real, genuine ray gun. You're stupid as hell. Yeah. Sounds scary, all right. Well, fortunately, she's on vacation. That's why I'm so relaxed right now. <clears throat> uh, I don't think there's anything else, like, particularly stand out that we need to examine. Yeah, um, probably not. So. Let's see. What, 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 what do we need to, yeah, do we know what we need to break on a Cyclox? No, we have no idea. We no. have to present to see. We have to, we have to see. Uh, yeah, giant, let's, find, let's find out. Oh, it, Giant Pigment says it's a uh, special bargain sale, is what it says on the <laughs> end, which is even worse somehow. <clears throat> that's, that's funny. Okay. Uh, all right, Larry, what do you got for us? Night of the Crime. Night of the crime. And the night of the crime. Were you working hard like you were supposed to? What? Huh? Uh, of, of course. Of course I was. Why wouldn't I have been? But didn't you sneak out of work just yesterday to go see Miss Delight? Uh, but that was that. And this is this. Is there any chance that you snuck out of work last night, too? Never. I didn't sneak out. I tell you what, I'll even bet you a dollar. Why would you... Okay. A dollar? Wow, now that's confidence. What's with that drenched-in-the-rain puppy look on your face? What is that? Yeah, well, that's the, not at all the face you would be giving. In that... <laughs> I don't think that's the face I'm making. Yeah. <laughs> Larry, are you bad at reading people's faces? <laughs> is that why... Larry, is that why you think women like you? <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> Larry, he has, uh, he Larry has... do you have face blindness? Uh, yeah, I was going to say, what is that... Chat, tell me what that's called. It's, <laughs> you know, a plot twist in 999. Yeah. I can't remember what it's called. Do you have evidence that I left my position, or are you just pulling my chain? Several people in the chat instantly got it. Prospagnosia. What? Prosopagnosia. Yeah. Wow. Y'all are wildly good on that one. Also, yes, yeah, huge yeah. spoilers for 999. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> yeah, but, like, it me that means nothing. That means nothing. Yeah, to yeah, yeah, it's pretty much that's nothing. true. That's true. That's true. That's true. Like, I'm not saying. I didn't tell you anything about the character. Yeah, I, I or played like those games, and I don't even remember that plot point being important. Yeah, it's you, like that. Fine. That means nothing. <clears throat> Good games, though. Good games. Oh, they're great games. I love those games. The evidence Larry was not oh, the, manning oh, the first the station. Two. Oh, uh, he wasn't at a station because he found the wallet, right? That's what I would think. Uh, 
there's not I many mean, you can walk away happen. two steps, find it, and come back. I mean, feel free to present it. I don't think it's going to kill us too hard. But yeah. Like, you could have walked away for two seconds, found oh, it. You did it. That was it. This okay. wallet. You know about this, right? I've never seen it before. Larry, you literally gave us this to us yesterday. <laughs> Liar. You hand delivered this wallet to Mr. Light just yesterday. Give me a break. You can't expect me to remember every little thing that happens. Well, I do expect you to remember something that happened just yesterday. Hey, it's flashback. What time was it with Hey. I guess it was around one in the morning on the first floor of our company building. Cool. One o'clock. One o'clock in, oh. in the morning. That's right. In other words, Larry, at the time of the murder, you were away from the security guard office. Ah! Yeah, but th there's something you didn't think about. What's that? My shift that day didn't start until 10 p.m. Okay. Murderer might have snuck in before then. What do you mean by that? If the murderer had snuck in before 10 p.m., then it wasn't my fault. It wasn't the fault of the guy who shipped. It was the fault of the guy who shipped was before mine. Mm, why do I have the feeling that he still doesn't get the seriousness of this? Kind of Listen up, it. Larry. We know beyond a shadow of a doubt that the killer snuck into the CEO's office after 10 p.m. during your shift. Ooh, do we know? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. Boom. The card was used at 1 a.m. Oh, yeah. Um, Get dunked on. Larry, when you use the key card, does it leave a record? Yeah, it does. But I can't show the record to just anyone, you know. That key card data was already made public in the trial today. What? I didn't know that. Any kind of request for info like that is supposed to go through me. <sighs> Boy, does that sound a bit arrogant coming from a part-time guard. Anyway, occurring to, according to the data, the door to the CEO's office was opened with this card. Furthermore, it was most definitely used at 1 a.m., the time of the murder. No way! Yes, way. Someone used this to get into the CEO's office. That happened at 1 a.m. on the night of the crime, right in the middle of your shift. Oh. Larry, you can't duck your responsibility this time. Yeah, no. Got him. Hey, we didn't even have to go find easy, other evidence. Easy peasy. Nice, we did it. Feels good. Ooh. Did it, did it, did it. Oh, I knew it. It's all my fault. It's my fault that the boss was killed. My fault. Harry. There was nothing I could do. I have important issues to deal with too, man. What does that mean? What happened that night anyway? Uh, my Donna happened. Oh, no. <laughs> huh? Your Donna? I got a bad feeling about this. Yeah, my Donna called and said, I have to talk to you right away. Was your Donna, by any chance, in an animate piece of clothing or accessory? <laughs> so I went to see her and he was standing right there next to her. Um, who was? Her new boyfriend! It was like some horrible joke! Before I knew what was going on, the guy socked me right in the kisser. Wow. Damn! Normally, I'm the one that does the punching. Isn't that right, Maya? What? That's a really weird thing to say to a girl. Yes. <laughs> also, who who of our generation would ever say they got punched right in the kisser? That's like a... That's, my grandpa would say that. And my grandpa was born in 1920, and that's not a joke. Like, nobody says that. <laughs> oh, that's, right. a, also, that's a reference also, to the Honeymooners. Yeah, that's an old fucking TV show. Also, uh, Delucid Gamer did say Donna's full name is Donna Old Duck, which, you know, is very good. Ah, that's good. Yeah. So, is that why you left the security guard office? 
Oh, I'm sorry. It, 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 it's all my fault. How can I ever make up for it, Nick? What can I do? What? He's curled up on the floor, crying like a baby. Shitting oh, his boy. pants. Shitting He's shitting his pants. and crying, all right. And Nick. Is there anything I can do? Anything! Just name it! Change your pants. I'll do whatever I have to do to make up for it. I swear I will! Clean this up. Larry. Hey, Nick. As long as he's offering, why don't you show him the evidence we've got? She's right. Maybe we'll get at least one bit of useful information from him. Nick! <laughs> Okay, so okay, now... now we can present all the things that they want us to present. Chad, if this is wrong, I'm never listening to you again. Never, ever, ever again. Oh, Chad! No, wait, no, wait. No, no, yeah, I'm really okay. sorry, Nick. I really want to change, but the thing is, I just don't have any interest in men. Okay, there it is. Yeah, that was a picture yeah, of Ron Delight. But I feel like, I feel like. He would say that for any man that we present to him. This guy really needs to get his mind out of the gutter. Larry's your stereotypical guy, all right? No. no don't, don't, don't drag us all down. Like yeah, I feel like on. I feel like I feel like Larry is what most girls think the stereotypical guy is, based off of how people like Larry actually exist in real life. Oh no! Okay, it is actually every guy. Shit. Wow, yeah, we presented Luke at me, he did the same line. Is it present Phoenix? Is this is this gonna be anything? Oh, okay. Okay. You're 26 years old, right? Don't you think it's about time you took a long, hard look at your life? Larry, what the fuck? Coming uh, from you? Sure. Yes. Wow. Uh, go fuck yourself. <laughs> the only time you can really screw up and hope to recover from it is when you're young. Huh. Well, I guess so. Naturally, I'm not talking about you, Maya. You're already perfect. It's hard to imagine Larry not screwing up at any age. <laughs> okay. Uh... Uh, so we got to present some evidence to him, right? Oh, yeah. That, she did actually say that. So uh, Present Benefer. Yeah. What's he got to say about his girlfriend? Uh, I think you know how much I want to help you guys, but we already broke up, so I don't <laughs> care about her anymore. I really don't know anything about that. I'm going to leave the past in the past. What is it, Nick? It's just that he seems so, I don't know, pleasant? It's very not like Larry. I fucking it's hate creeping me out. Uh, I don't know. Talk about Cain Bullard's death? Nope. Nope. What would he know? Oh, the blackmail letter. Maybe. Well, we already kind of, we already did, we already did that with him. Oh, this is something. Um, so what about this? Huh? Maya, you shouldn't have a love letter for me. God, I hate him. <laughs> uh, no, sorry. This is a blackmail letter. You're blackmailing me? <laughs> <laughs> Shit, it's actually what? what the joke was. How do you know about that, Maya? Huh? How much is Alexis demanding this time? Wait, what? <laughs> oh, no. Huh? Who is this Alexis? Didn't we show him this letter yesterday, too? I'm pretty sure we did. <laughs> that was just... That whole dialogue was for nothing. That was nothing. But they chose to it's keep it in the It's just giving us Larry lore. Larry lore. It's giving us Lori. Lori. Uh... I don't know, maybe mask to mask. Do you know anything about oh, that? Yeah. Nothing. Uh, the font on this article is really fucked up. Whoever <laughs> wrote this is an idiot. Uh, Crown of Bangora, left hand of Hades. That's cool. Portrait of Mahina. That's, these are kind of cool. The left hand of Hades is a fucking That's dope kinda name. Cool, actually, just, yeah. just wait until you assemble the right hand, the, the legs. The left and the head. Yeah, <laughs> Hades. Obliterate! Oh. Hades nuts! <laughs> it's 
my favorite uh, roguelike. Hades nuts. <laughs> no. He doesn't know anything nothing. about that either. Come God, on, Larry. Larry. I, like I know the joke is that you're worthless, but like fucking come on. Uh, All right, hold up. Let me let me rack my brain. Oh oh, here we go. Here we go. So was okay. this the car that was used by the culprit that night? Well, going off the serial number, then yeah. This card was used to open the CEO's office door at one in the morning. Your client had your client had this card, right? Then <laughs> it's a no-brainer. He's the killer, man. Uh... Now, the only no-brainer around here is you, Larry. Is you. <laughs> nice. That was a good one. Uh... I don't know. Maybe he'll know. Oh, this is a wild stretch. No. I was like, maybe he would know something about security cameras. Because he fucking works. Oh, wait. Security... Did we not get something... Did we not get a piece of evidence? Uh oh. Oh, uh, the buzzer. Oh yeah, present that. There you go. I, I racked my brain. I racked my racked my brain really hard for that one, chat. You racked your brain. I racked my brain. <laughs> um, the buzzer in the CEO's office is directly connected to this room, right? That's right. Just like my heart is connected to yours, Maya. God. Huh? Go ahead, Maya. Press the buzzer in your heart. I promise I'll come running to your rescue like the professional guard I am. He Biggest sucks. crime in this series that this guy does not get murdered. Wow. That was pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. I try. Do you think you could tell us about the buzzer now? Yes, please. Please tell us. Okay, I guess so. Prepare to be wowed. You push the button. Oh, okay. Oh, whoops, wrong button. You push the button and people show up. Um, I accidentally pressed the buzzer earlier. Yeah, I heard it. So that was you, huh? You didn't. What? Why did you come to the CEO's office? Your security. That's it, literally what it. Well, this is the third floor of the basement. The CEO's office is on the first floor. I thought it would be a good idea to uh, adopt a wait-and-see approach. Plus, there's a police detective here, right? I just didn't think it was necessary. You're so bad, Larry. It's as if he's trying to win an award for the laziest person on the planet. We're doing absolutely nothing longer than anyone else. Larry, this trophy's for you. <laughs> There's a SpongeBob reference for you, everybody. Uh, let's get back to talking about the night of the murder, okay? Is it true that the buzzer didn't go off that night? There must be a record, right? You must have had a look at it, right? Of course I did. But I couldn't possibly have made a mistake early. I made a mistake either. Larry. Larry. Do you think you could take just one more look for me? Pretty please? Oh shit, would you look at that? I made a mistake. Oh, okay. okay. I just can't say no to you, Maya. God, I f he's so intolerable. Yeah, he's a really bad character. What do you think, Nick? I think I need I think to find I a I need to best choose friend. better friends. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he's probably right. I don't... Blah! What is it? What's wrong? I made a mistake. I made a mistake! <laughs> huh? But how? It can't be. It's impossible. Okay. Enough already. What about the records? At night, it went off just once. In the morning, at around 1 a.m. 1 a.m.? That's when the murder happened. So really? Can you legitimately say Larry's at fault for this murder? Oh, a hundred percent. Basically, I mean, I feel like I feel, I feel like, like there's got to be some that sort of Larry is at fault for this. I mean, okay, <laughs> legal things aside, Larry would not be 
in any way culpable. Like he wouldn't. No, like, he's not legally culpable. Yeah, no. but morally, it's he's like socially, you he's morally could culpable. Have, you could have probably prevented this murder, Larry. I mean, yeah. I don't, I don't know if there's some sort of civil action you can bring. <sighs> like some weird theory you can use to lead, to bring a you know a, a, to sue him and uncivilly. There's no he didn't commit a crime, obviously. Right, right, right. But right, like I'm trying right. to think if there's this some is, weird. This is the bad Samaritan law where you just ignore a like, crime happening could when it, your could job it be is reporting crimes. Could it be considered like negligence? Like he, yeah, he, but not he was, in his like... job was to protect people, and he was not doing his job. Yeah, I don't know how you'd like. I don't really know how you'd word it, but like, oh, it's not sort of dereliction of duty. Mm. Not a military thing, but. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. The new evidence we got. That's probably it. Buzzer, buzzer went off at one o two. Okay. All right. Uh. Well, I assume that's all we're getting from this guy, right? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Uh, we I was gonna say. Go to the CEO's office from here. We're we're like pretty. We're we're at a point where I feel like if we continue to go, we will not have that much to do next week. Okay, and that, and that's enough. We're not gonna finish that tonight. So, I am okay with this being a stopping point. If that feels good to you. I think that's I'm I think fine that's good. with that. Okay. That is going to do it for another week's stream of Ace Attorney with an Actual Lawyer. Again, you can catch it live on twitch.tv slash team every Wednesday night at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time. As well as, hey folks, we stream about four or five other nights every week, so check out some of that stuff, because I'm pretty sure you're going to like it. Also, if you'd like to support us financially... Don't take my word for it. <laughs> check out these customer tutorial or tutorials? Customer... What? Testimonials. Testimonials. <laughs> Words are hard. These customer tutorials. We've been streaming for three hours. I'm sorry. These uh, customers will teach you how to do things in our customer <laughs> tutorials. Uh, and hey, if you like this and you want to pay us money to help me go to school to learn to speak better, go to patreon.com slash save the team. Uh, you can throw us a couple bucks. Help us. Next month's donation goal is a dictionary. <laughs> One dictionary for Zach. One dictionary. Um, get a customer tutorial on our OnlyFans, exactly. <laughs> uh, but until next time, court is adjourned. Uh, Rose with more Murder Phoenix art of Case One Two, cause ye. Warning blood. <clears throat> Phoenix working as me as assistant. Ah, <laughs> uh, I love I love his little sweater vest look. That's cute. Yeah, he's like he's like not where he is yet, but not where he was. Uh-huh, uh-huh. What the fuck, right? Oh, fuck. It's him. He's more cute this close. Oh, jeez, I'm not ready. Nope, 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 nope. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing here? Are you one of Mia's clients? <laughs> Mia lives, but Maya still got accused of murder. Womp. <laughs> Also, I love that uh, insert, Red White is holding, I think, insert, insert the thing. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Blah, 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 uh, I mean, have you ever seen the inside of a person? I mean, <laughs> not that I would that know. <laughs> Phoenix and Edgeworth drew each other. Oh, that's cute. Hey, Edgeworth, <laughs> I made a drawing of you. It's not really good. I, I haven't drawn for a while, but I hope you like it. I I also made one for you. Wow, did you take drawing lessons from... Just from Emma? Emma? <laughs> we both went for it. <laughs> That's so good. Now, don't be mean. <laughs> it's really cute, though. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, just for an immediate, not gonna lie, I, I forgot to draw the next turn about time trail, and I realized today is Wednesday. I don't have time, so here's uh, Naramitsu at you guys. This is super cute. Oh yeah, these are really cute. And yeah, it's the uh, the art major Phoenix with all the paint. He's dirty from the paint. 
That's adorable. Thank you. Infamously dorky, last week I drew concept art as Von Karma as a I drew concept art Von Karma as a sibling, but this week I made it into a comic. By the way, thank you all for the fun content. You consistently make every week. It brings me so much joy. Thank you, Infamously thank Dorky. You. Thank you for the amazing art you send in all the time. Uh, or <clears throat> let's get into this. Good, we're out of eye shot. I can take this stuffy thing off. Did you not tell Father we'd be off to the opera? Would it not be more appropriate to keep the coat on? Oh, sure. We're going to the opera. Just not the one you're thinking of. Friedrich. Schwartz, Studio 53, please. A disco? <laughs> Friedrich, we can't go to the disco. Father will kill us. Bury the bodies. No one will find the pieces. <laughs> Release me at once! Come on, man. You think I'd drag you along if I knew you weren't going to have a good time? Uh... Relax, Manfred. It'll be fine. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> you should let your hair go more often. Looks good on you. I hate you so much right now. This is so good. I fucking love yeah, what this. A, what, a, what a cute... <laughs> Yeah. What a cute relationship for, like, a shitty character. That's so good. Hell yeah. We're, we're, get, we're getting that, that depth to this character. Mm -hmm. Sympathetic. Thank you, Infamous Uh Soapy, with cute little Meekins, is learning blood bending, something that I'm sure will not cause problems for anyone. <laughs> That's so good. Oh, he's blood, bend he's blood bending the blue badger head. <laughs> Uh, yikes on bikes, my 3 a.m. shitpost spiraled into a stupider comic. Oh, oh no. no. Oh, no. no. <laughs> okay, I oh, do. Oh, but wait, there's a lot of cool details. I here. do, yeah, we gotta, we gotta call out Maya making the face on the camera and also Gumshoe dabbing with it looks like with missile. missile. <laughs> That's fucking <Yeah>. amazing. <laughs> That's really good. Uh,. Oh no, there's more. Oh, oh, Pearls is drinking the fucking <laughs> chocolate milk that was left there. Maya's making a dumb face. And Edra showed <laughs> Edra up showed and he's up. scolding <laughs> dumb too. Uh, I hate I hate all the lipstick marks over Larry though. It's the worst. Yeah, no, please. Get oh, there's that out dialogue of here. though. Okay. Mr. Nick, you and Mr. Edgeworth are both friends too, right? Pearls, please. Didn't I ask you to wait outside with Maya while I investigate? But I'm hungry and there are snacks in here. Don't mess with old bag stuff. She'll come after us with a vengeance. Okay, Mr. Nick. I don't think Miss Oldbag is planning on eating anything right now. Oh! She just took out her dentures. Pearls, we need to go now. <laughs> Mr. Nick, what about the investigation? Forget it, Pearls. I have Edgeworth's credit card. Pizza's on me. Let's go. Come on, kiddo. Step on it. <laughs> Unchristian noises. <laughs> Horrifying. Oh, it's so oh good. no. The Pearls, on bikes. At least Pearls is getting a pizza out of it. That's true. That's Hashtag true. get Pearls a pizza. Get Pridge a pizza, folks. King Kieran, uh, the time I'm posting this, my 72 question micro bio. I've yet to take it. Hopefully I'll have it done by the time the stream starts. Anyways, uh, here's... Oh, uh, an Ace Attorney Pokemon Mystery Dungeon team. Here's Phoenix as a Swellow uh, with a moveset chosen to, to represent Phoenix with Reversal, Quick Attack, Aerial Ace, excuse me, and Endure. Also wearing nice. a Petcha Scarf with the P on it, which is so good. Uh, that is cute. And the, like, Phoenix's eye, like, the art style of his eyes on it, like... It's it's so good, you nailed it. Absolutely killer. Thank you, King Kieran. Uh, six working on a miraculous ladybug AU. Holy guacamole! Nice. Uh, again, I, I know almost nothing about miraculous ladybug. I didn't even know. I've seen, yeah, I've seen a season and a half. Oh really? Is I there know more? People really? Is there more yeah, than just yeah, the black a, cat I'm, I'm, I'm and ladybug? I did, I'm far behind. I want to catch up on it actually because it's a pretty good show. I, I mean, that's what I've heard. I've heard it's great. Uh, and and I should add, these are incredible. So like, oh shit, uh, Wes, the second one has your favorite as the dragon, Miraculous. Oh, oh, amazing. I, I didn't realize that the dragon one was the worst one. So <laughs> I didn't realize that like everybody hates the dragon, Miraculous. So that's good to know when I'm watching the show that I know when he shows up to be like, ah, oh, this guy's a super bad guy. He's a terrible character and everyone hates him. God. 
Uh, Vanilla Bean. Lady with the Parasol, Madame Von Ooh. Karma. This is really cool. Yeah, Vanilla Bean. This is very different than stuff. Yeah. I mean, not very different, but the perspective and yeah, yeah, yeah. the tone of it is very different than what you've done. This reminds me of like a poster for a Studio Ghibli film or something. That's high praise. Hell yeah. Thank you very much. Uh, Castle Garden, tiny portraits of Nick and Maya in my tiny accordion sketchbook. It's about two by yeah. two inches. Oh, that's super cool. Man, this looks this so good. Watercolor? Yeah. Wow. Yo, I don't think we've seen much watercolor art, so that's yeah. amazing. Really? And I the shading it. on it. Because, hey, folks, shading in watercolor is fucking hard. Yeah. That's uh, awesome. Amazing. amazing. Corona Wizard with roll credits. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> the way you drew Atme's face is fucking it's amazing. Some wild. <laughs> also, uh, I love how his hands are like so, so tiny. tiny. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck, that's really good. Ace Detective, huh? Indeed. And you are? Uh, the name's right. Phoenix Wright. Cool. Ace. Cool. Nani? <laughs> Everybody. Say the line, Nick. Say the line, the line. Nick. Uh, Ace Attorney. Uh, <laughs> yeah! <laughs> he said it, though. What just happened? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, there's so much detail here. So good. Holy Fuck. shit. You got, Fuck. Uh, you got fucking uh, Grossberg doing the Harlem Shake. Fucking the judge. She loses mind. Mia's dabbing. Rinosuke's dancing. Adrian's throwing up dollar bills. <laughs> Pearl saying we also, did it. Mystic Maya. Professor Layton's back there in the, in the first Joker one. from Persona 5 is there. Missile from wait, Ghost Trick. Wait, where's Joker? In the far left. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, Wolverine has the Wolverine claws. <laughs> Oh, fucking, fucking willpowers. Yeah. Oh, willpowers and he's even doing the snick. It's so good. <laughs> yeah, this is really oh. good. He's so confused about why everybody's cheering. Uh, dessert boy man with the finished cake. Ooh. Pearl got us a strawberry cake. It's a oh, matcha, it's the strawberry cake, cake that Pearl got. Cake. Yeah, it's a matcha tray leche with black sesame whipped cream. Fuck me. Ooh. The same flavor profile I used from Morgan Fay, but interpreted in a way that fits Pearl better. Wow. Oh, that looks delicious. That's and you even got so little smart. strawberry slices in the mid section, too. That's so smart. Yeah, wow. damn. Zero point, man. I bet that tastes. You continue to outdo yourself. I don't yeah, know. I, I, bet that, I bet that also tastes just really like light and refreshing. I yeah. bet it's not that rich or like, like a too refreshing much at all. spring breeze. Yeah. So good. So good. 